was my passion. I I never thought of learning or becoming musician. It just it just my passion. And my father also was not a full time musician. He was just a playing as a hobby. He was a great painter of his time, oil painter, mm-hmm. and a great uh, medical doctor. But I I tell you, any musician, a true musician, never decides or never plans to, uh, for a profession or something. It's just. Unless and until you are gifted, unless and until you are passionate about it. So I was just passionate about it. Broke many bansuris in my childhood uh, while playing with it like a toy, you know. And uh, then I came to Mumbai in '74. Like I was just 10 years old and uh, still kept, kept learning. I six years old. I started after coming to Mumbai. I got my guru as a Pandit Vijay Raghav Rao. After my father, he's my he was my main guru. Mm-hmm. Now he's not there in this world, but uh, it's a blessing that I got him as my guru. He he gave me the punishment of practicing. Okay. Because you broke many flutes, you thought it's a toy, but it's an instrument. So your punishment is that uh, you will practice and show me how good you can play. So my punishment was my practice. So I kept practicing, and I think uh, he was a little sad uh, that he could not uh, become a full-time, uh, very famous or you know, like top class master player because he started very late. But he patronized a lot of the artists, like uh, our pioneer of Mansuri in the last century, um, about 75 years back, was Pandit uh, Pannalal Ghosh. Uh, so he did a lot of serving. He served Panna Babu in many ways, mm-hmm. so he learned from Panna Babu. And uh, but he started very late. One has to start at the right age. So probably he wanted me to play, and he could see his own passion uh, in, you. in me. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, I was very fascinated with the sound of Rudra Veena. And Rudra Veena, uh, Alap, uh, the, as Dagar Sahab played, uh, when I was play, used to play with Adi Burman Sahab, so one of Dagar Sahab's students took me to his house. And when I heard his Rudra Veena, Zia Manudin Dagar Sahab, in Chembur, so touching, I tell you, it's like a, going inside the earth or something like that. So I thought this sound, because it's a folk instrument, Still, we cannot produce that kind of depth, you know. So, and the low alap was uh, Pandit Ravi Shankarji, my Guruji also had the same kind of effect, you know. So, when I went to Moscow uh, with uh, all uh, Moscow Chamber Orchestra, I was playing with. So that that is the time it came in my mind. I said, all my Guru Mandus, they are playing in low octave so beautifully, even in guitar, santur. But I am not able to play. So I thought of going to the low octave sa and then started experimenting and changed the finger position with the help of a very good scientist and a flute maker, uh, Dr. M. M. Pai. So he helped me to design this flute and I just named it because it sounded like Shank, so Shank Masri. He was like my elder brother. More than a, 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 more than a, a star music director, it was like brotherly relation. And I think uh, whatever I am today, uh, it has a lot of uh, panchanda in me. I think uh, when you are growing as a musician, when you are uh, trying to learn, you know, various uh, kind of music, uh, that is the time I got Adi Burman in my life. At a very young age, I was 18 when I played first song for him. Uh, the old love story, Yaad Aa Rahi Hai. He never behaved that he's, he's, he's going to be semi-god for you know, all of us, you know, going to enter in the film industry or going to be a music actor or uh, already established being music actor. They're all looking up to him as a semi-god of music direction. No, it's all journey. It's, I, everything was coming as a surprise to me. Nothing that I thought, nothing that I went, every, somebody was taking me and I was just finding myself somewhere. 
somebody took me to the film center and wanted me to play. I was never. I was only playing classical from my childhood. And I, uh, if I realize it, if I did not play for films, my musicians she would have been not even half of it, whatever little I had. Because you get to play others' music. Otherwise, you just say that what I'm playing is fine and that's the best. Whatever you create can be best or can be very good. But if you try to, if you are an actor of director. If you say I am a director's actor, that's the best. So that improves a lot of a lot of things in you. So I was playing not only for Adi Burma, he was my main person who introduced me to film industry. But uh, then I was playing for Ravindri Jan Saab. But 80% uh, it was Adi who I was doing. I played Gujarati songs with uh, Maminash Vyas, Mali Tari Kanku. No, a lot of huge canvas was there in front of me. I was introduced to a very big picture of uh, uh, those days it was not Bollywood, just Indian film industry. Mm -hmm. I played with Lachmi Kant Parallel, uh, Teri Mehrbani and all those songs are played by me. I played alongside Pandit Haripasad Jorosiyaji. Just think, what a, what an honor for a person uh, playing with uh, a living legend who is uh, senior than you, you know. Much more senior than you, not just one generation, two generations senior than me. So I got I was very lucky, I can say. Lataji meeting, playing live with Lataji and playing live with Ashaji and discussing what's happening. Uh, because she would come out of the uh, singer booth and talk to me for hours. Where did you learn? How could you play so good classical music? I never knew that you are a classical musician. So all this was very passionate. Dil Palosi hai was not appreciated that time. Album was much ahead of the time. So when I played this Sato Bar Bole Bansi, Ekahi Bar Bole Na. So this song, uh, it was almost like Asha Ji's and my duet. How much happiness uh, uh, she showered on me after that. It's just a blessing. Very emotional. When I look back, I just cannot talk. I just have to close my eyes and all everything comes like a movie in front of me. What a great people I met and it's been very satisfying. It's been such a learning experience and I think one lifetime is not enough. Now I feel that I'm growing as a musician and age never stops so I'm going to be old and uh, how can I learn more and it's uh, I just keep praying for God how that how long however long you want me to live but give me good health so that I keep playing and go so that uh, that's my wish now uh, but I have seen and felt God through my music because whenever I played music it has no barrier it's so transparent I can feel his presence his planet everywhere so I think uh, is music is face of God, yeah, and happiness for me, lifeline, always. One of the musician was uh, playing trombone called Krastoji, Krasto, and he uh, he gave me one LP record those days, uh, played uh, and composed by one of the greatest uh, jazz musician ever born, Charlie Parker. So that was my introduction to jazz music. And then I learned Western music from Stanley Gomes, who was also from Goa, uh, Goanese musician, Portuguese musician, and uh, he played violin. So this chord, harmony, how to become an arranger, how to arrange a song, those things I have learned from Gomsa. So my uh, passion for Western classical music started from 82, 83. I always wanted to make an album on the symphony orchestra of Western classical music. So this whole year from the March, April onwards, I was, whenever I get time uh, off, uh, uh, after playing concerts, touring, I was in the studio composing with a wonderful composer, Pijush, uh, uh, who also, Pijush Dhar uh, from the film industry, plays guitar. So we both were trying to compose, trying to do something, and now this album is ready. Uh, 
tribute to Mozart. Hi, this is Ronu Majumdar, the flute player. All of you love, and I love you all. Keep reading radiomusic.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel.